this week on George to the Rescue. We have three boys. Philip was diagnosed at the age of two with a childhood cancer called Burkitt's lymphoma. And he, Danny and Alex have autism. Oh, so all three boys do share a room upstairs. It's a little bit of a tough sleeping situation right now. From what I understand, you guys are like the most wonderful couple in the world. You've had a little bit of bad luck. So we are here to help you guys out. Brought a team together that wants to help you on this rescue. Hey so. man, thank you so much. You guys ready to rescue? Yeah! It's casing, look how easily that came off. It's just no good. And it's not staying on my rescue. I'm George Oliphant, and this week's rescue brings us to just outside Chicago, Illinois, where we've come to help out the Costa Verasti family. The lady standing next to me, Dia, is the reason we're here. She wrote in to tell us about the family's string of bad luck. Their first son was diagnosed with cancer, their second to autism. Dia, thank you so much for writing in. How do you think we can help? Well, George, I think this family is amazing. The parents are incredible, the children are awesome, and I think that They've had a string of bad luck these past few years, and it's about time the tide changed. I agree. Is there anything in particular you think we can do? Well, the three boys all share a room right now. There is a mattress on the floor. It's very cramped, and I think I would like for them to have a more spacious, organized, safe, comfortable space. That makes sense. You ask, you shall receive. They have no idea we are here. No. What do you say we go surprise Let's them? Let's go. We have three boys, Philip, who is 13 years old, Daniel, who is 11 years old, and we have Alex, who is seven years old. And Philip was diagnosed at the age of two with a childhood cancer called Burkitt's lymphoma. And uh, Danny gave his bone marrow at the age of nine months to Philip to help save Philip's life. And he currently is in remission for 10 years. Danny and Alex have autism. They have, Danny has a severe form of autism where he doesn't speak, and Alex has a moderate form of autism, which he can speak, but it's not complete sentences. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Just every day is a struggle, and uh, every day we learn something new. <laughs> and you get on news one day that you know your child uh, has cancer, and then you find out that your second child has uh, autism. And then you uh, find out that your third son has autism too. Um, Alex and Daniel are um, most likely going to stay with us for the rest of their lives. My goal and my dream is now to, to, to be a best father and best husband I possibly can and to help my kids as much as I can. Uh, and this is my purpose of my life right now. Hey guys, how's it going? Hi! How are you? Oh my Hi. You must be Marcel. No surprise. Hi. Oh, we're gonna expect you guys. Hi. Are you surprised? Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. actually shocked. Oh, really? We are here to rescue you. From what I understand, you guys are like the most wonderful couple in the world. You've had a little bit of bad luck, so we are here to help you guys out. Thank great. You. All right. Thank great you. to save us. Oh. <laughs> but you deserve this more than anybody. I'm here to do whatever I can to help you guys. You have like a punch list, like a wish list. Oh, so all three boys do share a room upstairs. It's a little bit of a tough sleeping situation right now. Philip is sleeping at the top bunk, and Danny is has the mattress on the floor next to the bunk beds, and Alex is at the lower bunk. And he's, he's going to be 13 very soon, yeah. and uh, we would like for him to have his own room. If we ever had a bigger house, we would Find to make have a basement and make into a sensory room, which is you know with the little balls in mm. there, so they could sit in there. That way they can go down there and provide sensory time for them without without us. Whatever you think is, you know, is the best. You know, we uh, ah. will really be thankful. I'm gonna do everything I can to make this place perfect for you. Help me out on this rescue, my friend and contractor extraordinaire, Steve Fanuka. Welcome to the Cosa Rosti House. Thanks for having me, and I'm really excited about this one. It is a great rescue. We have a lot of work to do. Let's just start off with their bedroom and we'll work from there. Take me upstairs. Steven, this is the boys' room. All three boys are in here. We got Philip, the oldest brother, up here, baby brother Alex down there, 
and Danny is over here on the mattress on the floor. They don't even have enough room for three beds. What I would like to do is make this a room just for Philip. Philip is becoming, he's a teenager now. He needs his own space. He needs a place to retreat from the chaos that goes on downstairs. But I just don't know where to put Danny and Alex. I've got an idea. Yeah? Now you have to follow me. I will follow you. So where are we gonna put Danny and Alex? George, welcome to our new workroom. The garage? You think we can put two kids, Danny and Alex, in this garage? Not think, we are. First off, as you can see, they're not even using the garage, they're using it for storage. Right. Okay, we're gonna get a shed. We're gonna put all this stuff in the shed. Okay. All right, okay. now I got an empty garage. Right. We're gonna actually make this outside space an indoor space. All right, so Steve, I'm feeling it. I, I can definitely see transforming this into a bedroom, but actually, now that you're talking about turning into a bedroom, I think we actually have enough space to actually use half of it as a bedroom and half of it as a sensor room. How's that for an idea? I think that's an excellent idea. All right, great, Steve. So it sounds like we have a plan of attack. How are we gonna execute this? I've scoured the Midwest for only the best. The best in the Midwest? And I have a surprise for you. Let's get it, I are love surprises. Ready? I am ready. Wow! Jason Wurr, the best in the business in the Midwest. Jaw Builders, meet George Oliphant. Nice George. to meet you, Jason. Nice to meet you. I brought a team together that wants to help you on this rescue. Hey, you man, know. thank you so much. You guys ready to rescue? Yeah! yeah. All right! Yeah. Coming up. So, Greg, we got rid of our garage door, and in its place, we have this styrofoam board. For color, inspiration, and so much more, visit a Benjamin Moore store. To locate a Benjamin Moore store near you, log on to BenjaminMoore.com. You guys ready to rescue? Yeah! Twelve minutes. Twelve minutes. We have removed everything from the garage and taken all the sheetrock off. Ninety percent of the insulation. Twelve minutes, guys. Yes. That was the old. You want me to help you there? Oh, no. oh. Oh. Yeah, it's not working as well as I'd hoped it would. I was gonna put it in a box. I'm gonna get a box now. Demolition is done, time to start framing. So Greg, we got rid of our garage door and in its place we have this styrofoam board here made by Dow. What exactly does this do? Uh, it's structural, it's also insulated, and it's a weather resistant barrier, three in one product. Now that we've cut out our window opening, we gotta have to seal it all up because water and air infiltration is the leading cause of mold and rot. The space is really starting to break up. I can kind of see where everything's gonna be. We have our sensor room over there and then the two bedrooms here. And what I really like is we left this little area open so the light can come through. Our framing is done, we got our windows in and our electric hooked up, but before we can spray any insulation, I gotta get this place cleaned up. Coming up. Getting suited up so I can spray some insulation, make sure that this room is cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Missed anything in today's show? 
Go to georgetherescue.com for more amazing rescues, behind the scenes footage, and so much more. Look at the space. Paul from TV Design, I'm glad George. you're here, man. Good, I'm glad I'm here. Well, uh, as you can see, we framed up the room. Yep. Now I need your vision. Wh what's going where? Okay, well, the whole space has been divided into two sections. Yep. Sensory room and bedrooms. Right. So for this first sensory area, you're gonna have some storage, you're gonna have some tactility boards on the wall so the boys can feel things around. And as you walk in some more, you're gonna have the TV section. And then you go into the back section, right. which is completely dedicated to the swing. That's huge, because yeah. I've heard that Alex and Danny are big fans of this Yeah, it's a sensory input, just extravaganza, they're gonna love it. What about over here? So in here, what we've done is eliminated doors, but kept two separate spaces so the boys can really feel at home. So the beds are gonna be here, we're custom building some furniture right now. We can't forget about Philip. Philip is, is just as important, we've got a great plan for him. All right, let's head upstairs. Huh? Philip, we have a special plan because he's a 13 year old, soon to be a real teenage boy, teenage man for that matter. Right. So we're gonna make it into a man cave. I Something love that Something he can idea. grow into. Perfect. So we're gonna start off with the most important thing, a nice, good sized TV for him to watch. Yeah. And over here by the window where there's a lot of light, we're gonna have a desk. And then moving over here, we're gonna do the creme de la creme, a custom bed that we're building for him. Well, I can see it all coming together. Now, we just gotta get building. Start building. Let's do it. Cut the guys here from Backyard Structures. It's custom building a shed for the family to house everything that was in the garage. It's got a window, a door, and right now we're putting in the track for a rolling door. All right, it's now time to insulate this room. So I got my friend Richard Spees here from Innovative Insulation Solutions. Richard, glad to have you. Thanks for having me. What's this job entail? Well, we're gonna end up spraying the walls with dowel close cell foam, as well as the entire roof line. So this room's gonna be warm. It's gonna be the warmest room in the house, right on the block. Getting suited up so I can spray some insulation. Make sure that this room is cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Steve, it is safe to say that place is insulated. It is now time to sheetrock. Let's do some drywall. This is not light. <laughs> this is actually heavy. For the boys' rooms, we're using Benjamin Moore's Natura paint. It has no VOCs. It's actually the greenest paint available. I'm not talking color, I'm talking environmentally friendly. This is my man Mark from Southpaw, and they brought all the stuff for our sensory room. Wow, you guys brought a lot of boxes. All right, Mark, so we got a lot of great stuff from Southpaw that we're gonna put in the sensory room. One of the coolest things is the swing. Now, I know we're planning on mounting it somewhere right around here. I was hoping you could help me out with that because the last thing I want to do is mess up. I'm looking at a hole in the ceiling and it's not even center. I need to know why. Oh, there he is. Hey, hey you ready to get to work? Uh, yeah. Can, yeah. You, can you explain to me what is going on here? So it's not center now. No, no, bro. You want to swing on it? <laughs> it's actually pretty nice. I was swinging on it earlier. <laughs> All right, we'll leave it there. It's not bad, though. No, actually, it's kind of wild. Woo! I'm just going to sit here and swing the rest of the day. They got to lay carpet, but they're going to have to lay it under me because I'm not moving. Getting all of our sensory toys loaded in. We got this one from Southpaw. I definitely think the kids are gonna like this one. Woo! The barrel. Yep, I'm stuck. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by Expo. Life remarkable. There's a lot going on on the rescue right now. We got electric going in, we got new closets, carpet, 
hanging siding, and we still have to build all the furniture. You gotta be in a lot of places at once. All right, thank you very much. The siding is done. Now we just gotta get inside and finish up in there. Oh. All right. Hey, Tony the Closet Man, how's hey, it going, how my friend? Doing? Good to see you. Great, great. Let's take these shelves yep. and put them in. We got special shelf supports here that the yeah. kids cannot pull the shelves out. So when you go but this to one's pull secured. it, yeah, look at that. Pull it and it's not gonna come out. And that's not even just for TV, I'm not faking it. This thing does not come out. All right, app is here, which means our TVs have arrived. Let's get them off the truck and load them in the house. All right, Chris, so what do you say? You want to uh, build some furniture? Sounds like a plan. I got to say, I am really excited to be working with IKEA on this project. This is really what our new slogan is about, the life improvement story. We believe our furniture products are things that improve the lives of others. All right, we got Philip's custom-made bed here. Guys, load it in. All right, thank you 1-800-MATTRESS for providing our beds. We built this wonderful shed. Actually, we had the people from Backyard Structures build us this shed because we got rid of the Costa Rosti's garage. And uh, everything seemed to be perfect until Mr. Inspector stopped by and he said, it's not perfect. Nope, it's not perfect, so we have to move it. We're gonna move it just to make sure. We're gonna move it six inches that way, and then we're gonna move it two feet this way. 2,000 yeah. pound shed that needs to move two feet. Yep. That's a lot. That's, no, that's no joke. That's, this is... All right, come on, guys. Be careful. George, okay, okay, fine. Look at that! Did you see that? Look, 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 look! We're moving it. We're definitely moving it. All right. So, now we're gonna do the back. All right, so let me know when you're ready. I'll jump on because clearly, my girth is what Why moves this house. This oh. That's it. Oh. Getting all of our sensory toys loaded in. We got this one from Southpaw. I definitely think the kids are gonna like this one. Woo! The barrel. Yep, I'm stuck. Expo boards are great for anything, whether it's leaving notes, drawing pictures. They're gonna be perfect for Danny and Alex's room because once they get done, they can wipe it off clean and start again. Guys, I am feeling great. A lot of time, a lot of hard work went into this rescue, but it is now time to turn the house back over to the family. On three, reveal. One, two, three, reveal! reveal! Coming up. Oh my God! Whoa! Oh, oh, look George the Rescue is brought to you in part by 1-800-MATTRESS. Leave off the last S for savings. Know someone in need of a rescue? Send us an email at george at nbc.com. Hey guys! Hi! This rescue really hit home because I have a nephew with autism. His name is Lucas. He's five years old. So when they asked me to do this rescue, I hopped right over. I feel that anything I can do for autism, I'm doing for Lucas, and that really hits home. This is changing their lives because it's given them a little bit more than what they already, that, that they never had. So I think they're gonna be thrilled to death. I hope they're thrilled. I can't wait to see their expressions on their face because in reality, it's, it's a great thing. The reaction that I hope from this family when they come in is that they, they see that it was you know, a community coming together to help out, but at the same time, it's because they give so much to their own children that they deserve something like this, and they feel so at home, and it's everything that they felt they deserve, which they do. 
So you guys, are you guys ready to see your house? You guys ready to come home? Yeah. I can see that. that yeah, Daddy. Yeah. Daddy, no, yeah. it's good to see you. I know Philip is. Yeah. All right, bud. How you doing? Good. How's things? Today's my birthday. I was, you know, you took the words right out of my mouth. I know it's your birthday. It's your golden birthday, right? 13 on the 13th. This man is now a teenager. Of course, over there we got Dia. Dia is the reason that we came here in the first place. She wrote in. She's Teresa's friend and said, you know what? This family here needs to be rescued. That's what we've done. Let's show them their house. Whoa. All right, huh? First and foremost, as you can see immediately, we had to do some transformations, and I think you're going to be really excited by what's behind that wall right there. Let's look. This is a full sensory room right here, and then bedrooms right there for both Danny and Alex. Whoa. I think we'll move down here. I know. <laughs> it's very touching to know that, that George and everybody found our story so heartening to come and help us. Sometimes when you wonder, like, who's out there? Who really cares? And it just shows that, you know, people who have never met before want to help us. What do you think about the swing? Oh! It's awesome. Oh, wow. so great. Thank you so much. Oh. Yeah, you're going to make us cry now, everybody. Ah. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I think it's I think it's going to change your life. I mean, just just the attention to detail and, and the things that they've always wanted and they never could afford, they, they finally got it. Their reaction was priceless. It really is amazing. I can't even put it into words. The room is like any 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 child with autism dream yeah. come true. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you this is I think perfect for for kids with autism. is is a, is a, is, a, is unbelievable. Thank you, George. Thank you. Thank you. Great job, guys. Great job. This isn't it. What about my man Philip? Oh yeah. You guys remember oh, Philip has yeah. to sleep somewhere, right? Yeah. yeah. You guys want to go up and see Philip's room? Yeah. You ready to see your room, yeah, buddy? Sure. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right. All right. Oh my God! Whoa! 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 Oh my God. Whoa! Wow! Do it! You got to Wow! It's so great. Look at yeah. this. Whoa! Look at this. We're just here to help, and uh, I know that you guys, you guys got your plates full with, with just every day, and uh, a plate full of goodness. A, a plate full of goodness. That's what it is. Let me show you what we did with everything you had in the garage. You want to go back? You want to go outside and see? Sure. sure. All right. Sure. Let's go. I hope he understands how thankful we are, and uh, we're never gonna, you're always gonna remember him. It's gonna be a, one of the light um, moments in our in our life. You know, one day when you look back in our life, you're gonna remember this, and it's always gonna be in our hearts. All right, guys, yeah. go ahead one more time. We say happy birthday! Happy, happy birthday! birthday. Thank <laughs> you.